This one I have a single stage zone board, but two stage equipment and two zones. We need to have the right circuit board. So we're gonna go with the HZ322 and we're gonna use proportional zoning to put this thing in the second stage when both zones are calling for heat. Right now it's just running in low stage and there's no W2. So let's get it in. Right here I turned the power off and I'm just taking out all the single stage low voltage wiring from the original zone board. Sped it up a little bit for you guys. So these boards are real common up here. When the house gets built, they put these in with the original builder grade systems. A lot of times they're just single stage equipment, cheap builder grade equipment. It's only supposed to last for about 12 to 15 years on average. But for whatever reason, the zone boards never get upgraded. Right here, I installed my transformer with a 3 amp fuse on the primary side of the 24 volt circuit. That way it has a dedicated transformer and a fuse as protection. Here, I'm going to show you the configurations setting the system up for conventional single stage cooling, two stage heating. This is also where you select two or three zones and the most important step, controlling second stage from percentage of zones. Because we only have five wires going down to both thermostats, we are able to control second stage of heat through the board. Let's go check the thermostats. second stage. I want to make sure my dampers are open. I have a little incision right here. I'll just use my phone. That damper is definitely open. And so is that one. It's like we are fully operational. Just turned upstairs off. It gets a little warmer up there first. Notice we're in heat one now with one zone calling. Go down to my train board and we're in low stage. That's what we want, baby. Let's go check our dampers. And if you look right here, that one's closed. dedicated transformer with the 3 amp fuse. That way if the zone board has any issues, we're not popping the transformers or blowing fuses. It's on the hot side. So now basically what we gotta do, put that on there. I'm 
I'm gonna always probably gonna come back and add the sensors. But this is just so they can get up and running right away.